the automation of manufacturing jobs led to Donald Trump as president, because we automated away these jobs in Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, the swing states he needed to win. Mm. And so as we triple down on that, as my friends in Silicon Valley begin to automate truck driving and retail and all these other things, yeah. it's just going to get worse and worse. So I would argue that it's actually a very practical decision mm. to run for president if you think that uh, that's necessary for us to preserve the integrity of, of our society. And I'm, I'm curious to you know, this is just a personal question for me, is um, this is your way of really getting this into the spotlight, which is the threats of AI and how that could impact the economy and jobs and a lot of people's lives. Yes. But I'm, I'm curious to know, it was, I'm trying to think, was there, was this really the central way of getting that message out? Because I know you produce documentary to spread the message of entrepreneurship. Couldn't you technically have done something similar that doesn't put you in so much pressure and I guess in the spotlight, it's a very difficult decision to run for president. Yeah, it's possible. And what's funny is I actually just came from a meeting where we're talking about a documentary about automation. Sort of an okay. inconvenient so truth about well. that. Yeah, I'll yeah. do that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to do everything we can. Sure, sure. Um, but I would go on a limb and say that uh, running for president is the most effective way to both get the message out there and also start to implement and enact real solutions. Mm. Because if you buy, which many, many people do, they, they buy the fact that automation is coming and it's already tearing giant holes in the labor market. Right. But then where people struggle is, okay, what do we do about that? Mm. Now what I'm advocating is the freedom dividend, which is a universal basic income of $1,000 per adult per month. Uh, this would help Americans go back to school, move for new opportunities, start a new business, pay their bills, and generally just stay functional, keep their head up, and adapt to the new economy. Now, I'm very, very certain that that is exactly what we should do, and I outlined some of that in my book. Yeah. Um, but most people are still struggling with what a meaningful solution to automation would be. And so I think that my campaign can double as both a way for uh, people to discover that this issue is very real and very pressing, and also to consider what the next move should be and what the solution should be.